to build your vertical axis wind turbine, we're going to need some common household materials and some tools. To start, grab one large foam cup, five snow cones to make the blades. You'll need three extra long straws to add the blade structure, and one coffee stirrer for your rotor. Two straight pins will help your wind turbine spin smoothly. One small binder clip Half a meter of string and paper clips will give your wind turbine a lift string. To put it all together, you'll need some tools, including masking tape, scissors, a hole punch, a sharpened pencil, and a ruler to measure. The gearbox is the base of your wind turbine. It redirects the wind's energy and allows the lift string to lift your paper clips straight up. Start by placing the foam cup on the table, upside down, so the base of the cup becomes the top of the gearbox. Use the sharpened pencil to carefully puncture a hole in the center of the top of the gearbox. Measure 6 centimeters along the side of the cup from the top of the gearbox. Use the sharpened pencil to carefully puncture a hole in the side of the cup at the 6 cm mark. Measure and cut a 4 cm portion of straw from one end of the extra long straws. Place the 4 cm straw halfway through the hole in the top of the gearbox. Tape this piece of straw in place securely. Measure and cut a 7 cm portion of straw from the same extra long straw that you cut in step number 5. Place the 7 cm straw in the hole in the side of the cup. Allow it to extend at least 5 cm out of the side of the cup. Tape this piece of straw in place securely. The hub connects the blades to the rotor, so it needs to be secure. Start by folding two snow cone cups in half. Measure 6 cm from the pointed bottom of one cup along both sides and make a mark on both sides of the cup. Align the curved side of the second snow cone cup on top of the first cup along the 6 cm marks. Trace along the curved side of the top snow cone cup. Place that top snow cone cup aside when you're done. Cut along the curved line that you traced on the bottom snow cone cup. This is your hub. Cut half a centimeter off the pointed bottom of the hub. This is where the rotor will attach. While the hub is still folded in half, make a mark in the center of your hub, one and a quarter centimeters from the top of the hub. Use a hole punch or sharpened pencil to create a hole through both sides of the hub. Unfold the hub and fold it the other way in half so that the holes are on the sides. This way you can create holes on all four sides of the hub. Make a mark in the center of your hub, one and three quarter centimeters from the top of the hub. Use a hole punch or sharpened pencil to create a hole through both sides of the hub. Reshape the hub back into a rounder shape. The rotor will allow the hub and the blades to spin. Let's connect them. Start by creating a hole in the center of each of the uncut extra long straws with the straight pin. Insert the straws through the opposite holes in the hub so that the pin holes in the straws line up in the middle. Place the straight pin through both straws where they cross in the middle of the hub. Use the holes you previously created in step number one. Cover one of the open ends of the coffee stirrer with a small piece of tape. Insert the taped end of the coffee stirrer through the bottom of the hub. Line up the coffee stirrer where the straws cross. Insert the push pin so that it holds the two straws to the coffee stirrer. Tape the base of the hub to the coffee stirrer rotor so that the hub is secure and does not spin independent of the coffee stirrer. Carefully insert the second straight pin through the coffee stirrer at the base of the hub, below the tape. Place the coffee stirrer into the straw at the top of the gearbox so the second straight pin allows the rotor to spin freely. Most vertical axis wind turbines are going to generate electricity. We're going to generate work. 
by using a lift string to lift paper clips off the ground up to our wind turbine. To install the lift string, start by pushing the string or thread through the straw on the side of the gearbox or cup so that one end is inside the cup and one end of the string hangs outside. Pull the inside string through and tie the small binder clip to the inside end of the string. Clip this binder clip to the bottom of the coffee stirrer that's in the middle of the gearbox after inserting the rotor through. Tie a paper clip to the outside end of the string. This is where you'll connect your additional paper clips as you lift them off the ground. A wind turbine will not work without its blade, so let's install them so we can transfer that energy over to our lift string. Start building your blades by folding the four remaining snow cones in half, including the folded one that you used to help create your hub earlier. Make a mark in the center of each cup, one and a quarter centimeters from the rounded side of each snow cone cup. Use a hole punch or sharpen pencil to create a hole through both sides of each snow cone cup. Slide each of the cups onto the four extra long straws extending from the hub. Make sure the straw extends through both holes in each snow cone cup. Reform the four snow cone cups into the cones again as you go. These will be your vertical axis wind turbines blades. Aim the cups as you see fit and use tape to secure the snow cone cups in place. You can make adjustments before, during, and after the testing of your wind turbine. To test the wind turbine, place your wind turbine in front of a fan, allowing the string to hang off the edge of the table, and then turn on the fan. Make any adjustments necessary to allow the turbine to spin consistently and freely, lifting the string off the ground. Attach additional paper clips to the paper clip hanging on the lift string. See how many you can lift off the ground. What's your maximum number of paper clips?